week on the show, we have actress Zorin Villanueva, who stars in the upcoming Netflix movie, Murder Mystery 2, alongside Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding why being a hater will always keep you on the sidelines. As we know in science, everything is energy. That being said, when we hate on other people or have ill intent, we bring that same energy to ourselves just like a boomerang. Have you ever noticed that the people who cheer other people on and are always happy for other people's success have a ton of blessings in their own lives? They move up in life abundantly without ever having to hate on other people because their intentions root from an abundance mentality that there is enough resources to go around for everyone to succeed. Make your mission today to start being a cheerleader, not only for yourself, but to everyone around you and watch the blessings flow into your own life. As Johann Wolfgang von Goethe quotes, who is the happiest of men? He who values the merits of others and in their pleasures takes joy, even as though it were his own. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. And I wanna talk about Murder Mysteries too. It's highly anticipated and exciting. You started alongside Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. Congratulations. So let, let's talk about your role and what was it like working with such an A-list team? <laughs> oh, it was really chill. Oh, nice. <laughs> relaxed. It was very um, happy. Everyone was very comfortable. Um, even the crew was comfortable. They're like, yeah, let's make a movie. Uh, we loved the crew. I loved, um, I I was allowed to try things. And I was like, oh, you know, that's funny. Do it again. Uh, get that. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it was very, um, it was a very open, warm environment. I was very grateful for that. Um, and I am uh, co-starring with uh, Jodie Turner-Smith. So I was, uh, I'm with her the most, most of the time. And uh, we just had such a ball. We had such a blast playing around. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Zurin Valenueva, who stars in the upcoming Netflix movie, Murder Mystery 2, alongside Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler, which is set to release March 31st. Zurin can also be seen as one of the actresses playing Tina in Tina Turner, the musical, which honors musical icon Tina Turner. It is currently touring across the United States. Zurin, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Thank you for being here. And February is a very exciting month. It's Black History Month. So I want to ask you before we start, who's someone in the community that you admire or is an inspiration to you? Oh, well, definitely. There's been so many, but um, Audra McDonald continues to inspire me. Um, six time Tony Award, Tony Award winner um, for just her own path. Um, watching i had the opportunity of watching her work and she is so regal and sweet and focused at the same time she's it's just a master class on how to conduct yourself and how to get the best art you can mm -hmm. out of every opportunity and speaking about strong black women i know that you played tina turner in tina turner the musical so let's talk about that role yes um tina turner is known for being strong but what i've learned um by playing her is her softness is her vulnerability is her love she had she has so much love still for ike turner so much love for her children so much love for her fans and strangers that she meets we actually um while we're touring because we've been touring since september in uh we started out in um providence and we've met, we run into a few people who like, oh, I drove her here, or I picked her up from the airport here, or, you know, like I've wow. worked with her in some capacity and they're like, she is just the sweetest. She'll talk to you about anything. She's, you know, she's always giving her light regardless of who you are or where, where you, uh, where she met them in her journey. And I think that is what has made the most lasting uh, impression upon me. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's quite a 
honor to play Tina Turner. So congratulations on that because she has an amazing Thanks. voice and to match that and to be in um, such a profound role. That's that's amazing. Congratulations. <laughs> And you are no stranger to musicals. I know that you play Dion in uh, the musical uh, Clueless alongside Dove Cameron. I love Clueless, by the way. <laughs> so, so let's well, talk about. Good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so let's let's talk about your role. And when did you realize your passion for performing in music? Um, well, actually, um, I started out. I always wanted to be an actor, straight actor. I, wow. I thought musicals were. Uh, <laughs> I was like, no, musicals, no, we don't do musicals. I was very, very young. <laughs> um, so that was really my focus. And I started singing um, really just to have another skill in the mm -hmm. basket, you know, whatever I could do to make sure that I worked. Um, and I was like, all right, I'll pick this up, you know, just in case I need it. And because I already could dance, before you know it, I was doing musicals all over the place. And I loved it. I couldn't believe how yeah. much I loved it. Amazing. And I feel like with musicals, Broadway, it takes really stepping out of your comfort zone and diving into the role without having any inhibitions. So for you, yeah. what's something that you do to be confident and really be fearless on stage? Oh. Wow. <laughs> what do I do? Because that I, I do think um, I can be quite cautious at times. So mm -hmm. that's at least something I'm always working on. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it is the audience. Once the lights go down and the audience is there, I'm unhimited. I'm unleashed. Um, I don't know there's something about the audience that gets it out of me but i'm i'm a very different person in front of the audience than i am like you know with just a few people in a room or you know at, with bright lights in a rehearsal hall <laughs> yeah isn't that that's one thing that i always find amazing is that people are very different on screen than off screen i've interviewed so many celebrities and they're very different when you interview them they're very they're shy they're timid and then you yeah. see them on screen and you're like who are you? You're like a completely different person. I, I find that so interesting when you see the, the the contrast between their personal life and on stage. So I, I find that very interesting. Fierce, you know, you have to have that, that other person. <laughs> yeah, your, your alter ego, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I want to talk about Murder Mysteries too. It's highly anticipated and exciting. Uh, you started alongside Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. Congratulations. So let, let's talk about your role and what was it like working with such an A-list team? <laughs> oh, it was really chill. Oh, nice. <laughs> it relaxed. It was very... Um, happy everyone was very comfortable um even the crew was comfortable they're like yeah let's make a movie uh, we loved the crew i loved um i i was allowed to try things and i was like oh you know that's funny do it again uh get that and i'm like oh that's great yeah <laughs> you know it was very um it was a very open warm environment i was very grateful for that um and i am uh, co-starring with uh jody turner smith so i was yeah. uh I'm with her the most most of the time, and uh, we just had such a ball. We had such a blast playing around. I'm sure it looks like a very exciting movie. Let's talk about your role in it. Um, I play Imani. I am the Countess um, assistant. Um, I am one of so you know the Countess has come to make sure her best friend gets down the aisle and um because she's a, her best friend is the bride the maharaja is um jennifer anderson adam sandler's character's uh best friend and they're coming to the wedding and that's why i'm there and you know mystery ensues <laughs> Ooh, very exciting well congratulations that's another epic role i mean jennifer aniston adam sandler um that, that's incredible so congratulations what can fans expect from this movie because i love the first one so i'm really excited so what can fans expect from this movie oh they can expect a, a return of some of some of their favorite characters they can expect um you know, continuing jokes from the first one. They can expect big, beautiful landscapes um, 
and a really, really good time. The backdrop is so amazing. Like where we shot, it's just, uh, uh, it's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. I saw a Bollywood theme there going on. So I was like, okay, this yeah. Looks, yeah, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> we love it. I got to learn some choreography. It was oh, fun. very nice. <laughs> and let, let's talk about your transition from Broadway and going live to being on, you know, big Hollywood blockbusters. How has the transition been for you? Uh, it's been really great um <laughs> i've always been something it's always, it's always been something that's been on my uh list i've always i've been auditioning for a tv film for five six years so i've always been out there um and it's been um it's been really great like just learning the differences in the lingo and you know um acting quickly as opposed to having a full arc, you know, two and a half hours, of, you know, getting into my character and all of that. It's like quick and dirty, get in, get out, go, go to craft services. I love it. <laughs> and what's been your most memorable audition? I always like to ask that because, you know, this industry is not easy, right? There's so many auditions that we go to. So what's one um, audition that really sticks out to you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There really truly has been so many. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> I cannot. Um, okay, but the first thing that came to my mind was when I was very, very young, I auditioned for, young, probably younger than I am, I auditioned for Ain't Misbehaving, and my mother was, um, is a huge fan of The Wiz. So I get the email, and you scam the email, like, who's doing this? And up to my surprise, the Andre de Shields, who originated the character of the Wiz and the originated Andre and Andre de Shields is the director. And I was oh, like, wow. and the only reason I knew his name is because my mother played that album wow. for seven. So I was like, I know that name. I know who that is. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have to practice. I have to practice. It must have to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I perfectly did it. And I, and I came in and I was like, I have to be, I laid on the piano. <laughs> wow. Determined to get this part. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they were like, Andre was like, oh, she's on the piano. <laughs> yeah. You got the role. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Very nice. And, you know, I always like to talk about obstacles as well in the industry because, you know, people see on social media and people see people on the big screen and they see all their success, but they don't know the grind and the hustle that goes behind it, right? It's not an easy path. So what are some obstacles that you face getting into this industry and how did you get through it personally? Um, well, there, there are so many obstacles and I feel like the point is to not worry yourself with them. Mm -hmm to not focus on them because the more you focus on those obstacles, the bigger they get, the more they find themselves in your way. I think focusing on the work, focusing on like literally when you start worrying about the politics or who might or who may not like this or like that, I always find, go back to the text. I'm like, let me just pick up the script and live in this world. And who am I? And just do that. And if I can just put the blinders on to everything else and just do that, usually that's when I do my best work. And that's when the obstacles kind of chill out for a minute. Even though they're there, it's important that it doesn't become bigger. Mm -hmm. to Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think that's really great advice. Um, uh, because it's so easy to focus on all the things that can go wrong and and all the negative stuff. But when we focus on just, you know, the end goal and seeing that goal in mind and just having tunnel vision, that's when, as you said, the obstacles kind of, they're still there, but they kind of, the focus is not there. The spotlight is on what's possible. So I, I think that's, that's really great advice. And, you know, I created my platform to inspire, to uplift and to, for anyone to watch this to feel good and feel motivated so for anyone that's watching this that's going through a rough time maybe they're feeling stressed unmotivated or they're just not seeing the results in their life but they're putting in the work what would you say to inspire and uplift them i would say i would say that i would say that 
if you're not sure what to do, just be still. Mm -hmm. And the answer will come. Just be still. Because I know it's very easy to be overwhelmed in any profession that we're in, especially in this day and age. Um, asking for help when you need it. And I would say, focus on what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. One tiny happy thing at a time will put together. You don't need to know where you're going. You just have to enjoy, enjoy the journey. That's all you need to do. Mm -hmm. I think get obsessed with the end goal. Like I'm doing this for this. And if I do this and I don't get that, then there's no point. And that's mm -hmm. not true, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, really just riding that journey, which is the part that you love, which is the part that you signed on for. You know, everything else will fall in line, I promise. I promise it will. Mm -hmm. I think that's great advice. And it's amazing when we're still, how much inner knowledge and wisdom we have, right, within ourselves that we, if you're still, you can listen to it and you can almost guide yourself. You don't even need anyone else, right? <laughs> I know. It's so hard to hear it. There's so much going on. There's so yeah. much going on. Yeah. I think that's great advice. And Zarin, what else are you currently working on? I know you have a lot of projects. Um, I'm, I'm, I've actually started writing during Ooh. the pandemic. Wow. I, you know, sitting there and I was like, this story and this story. And all of a sudden, all of these stories started coming out of me. So I was begun writing and it's been really, really rewarding and surprising that it's just flowing out of me. Um, I'm working on a series, a feature, um, and an ebook about the business of show. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> so you are a busy lady. Thank you so much for being on the show today. Congratulations on all your success. It's actually incredible to see and watch and unfold. And I'm excited to see what else is in store for you. Keep up the amazing work. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so good to meet you, Darius. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.